I have food for you. I've uh, cut up some little pieces. Oh, look. One of my turtles, my box turtles, is turned upside down. And I'm going to save this little box turtle from being upside down. Um, that just happens with box turtles. Sometimes they uh, have the uh, ability to flip themselves over in almost all conditions uh, to the correct side up. I have a little uh, fish fillet here and I'm going to put it up here in the pond here. I'm going to tap this feeding glass and uh, oh look I've got a turtle that's interested in the food that I have uh, cut up into little pieces. This is a uh, fish fillet. Oh, I'm going to just pick her up and put her over here by this food and see what she wants to do. Oh, she just wants to walk away from it. Oh, look, there's Boris or Natasha, the female Russian tortoise. She's just trying to get some ultraviolet rays from the sunshine. Uh, we got a little turtle there that's ready to eat. Oh, uh, look at that. She's going to grab a little bite to eat. This is a little fish fillet that uh, I cut up into little bite-sized morsels. There's more than a dozen turtles in my enclosure. And this is just one of them. And I thought that uh, you might enjoy watching her chow down just a little bit. You know, a lot of people, or a few people, uh, enjoy seeing uh, box turtle activity. And uh, I thought this would be an uh, excellent opportunity to uh, show you a little bit of uh, yeah, normal activity in my outside enclosure. I uh, allow these box turtles. This is one that I raised from uh, a hatchling. It's about five or six years old. You can see how it almost looks like it's ravenously hungry. It's just gobbling down this uh, uh, fish fillet very quickly. And uh, you can notice, oh, look at this. <laughs> this little guy just came right up. Oh, I'm going to just move you right down there. What are you doing there? Huh? Did you just want to say hi or what? My goodness gracious. This little box turtle just crawled right up. Oh, it's actually not so little. But uh, this turtle here just crawled right up and Let's see how it behaves. If it isn't careful, it's going to fall. And you remember at the beginning of this video, I had a turtle that was upside down. It was upside down right there. And so this turtle has to uh, maneuver its way through this rather precarious situation. Otherwise, it's going to turn upside down again. But uh, they have the ability to uh, arch their necks and... Uh, flip over the uh, correct side and uh, get my shadow out of the way here best I can oh, oh, yeah. just want to go for my shadow oh I don't even see him now oh there he is uh, or she this is actually a female box turtle oh <laughs> there's another one over there uh, hey, I have food for you. Hey, I have food for you. Come and get it. I don't know if she uh, really knows that I got food for her, but uh, Boris, <laughs> just looking sort of like I don't really care if you have food for me. The other uh, turtle has eaten its fill and is uh, going on about its business. 
underneath my uh, bonsai cherry tree I'm going to zoom in on another uh, box turtle that is uh, getting ready to go swimming in their little permanent uh, swimming pool. This is a wonderful time of year for box turtles. We just had a hailstorm and rainstorm that came through and it just dumped a whole bunch of water on the ground and all the turtles are pretty much uh, activated, you know. Uh, the Russian tortoise just wants to have dry, hot weather come back, and so uh, she is just thinking about uh, getting some sunshine. And the uh, box turtles uh, are thinking, oh, I wonder what I'm going to find out here. Uh, one of these minutes, I'm going to see uh, some of, oh, down there on the uh, cinder block, I'm going to zoom in and show you another box turtle. This is sort of an expansion to my box turtle enclosure. It's over the top of cement, but sometimes the box turtles uh, like to go out there and just sort of, uh, even though they cannot dig into the ground at all, there's sort of a cement patio out here on the uh, west side of my house, and I decided to take some cinder blocks and uh, create a, you can see the cinder blocks on end uh, create a small uh, enclosure uh, that is connected to my main enclosure that has soil and places for box turtles to lay their eggs or to burrow into the ground or even uh, hibernate over the winter. Boris is really just pulled into her shell and is just not interested in anything right now. Oh, and look at this activity that we have going on. Uh, this turtle is thinking that it, it's quail. Can you believe that? The quail are just making all that noise up here. That's a pair of them. The uh, female is on the right hand side and now it's on the left. And uh, they're sort of anxious about me being down here uh, talking to the camera and I, I have a little feeding area that uh, the quail can eat at. Oh there's a yeah, blackbird. Uh, they also love to come down here and eat some grain. Sort of tickles me pink to see uh, the wildlife here and I love to put a little food out for them and uh, allow them to uh, Oh, look how close they are. My goodness. I have to zoom back just a little bit. They're only about eight feet away from me. Oh, that quail, that is so close. Oh, I'm going to go back to my turtle video. That's what I was doing here mostly. This is one that I raised from a little baby. I got 13 of them. I uh, rehomed from a individual that was getting very old. Oh, look how cute those quail are. They just think they're safe here because I have a little bit of wire between me and them. They can't be much more than seven feet away from me and that little blackbird there. That's really cool. That is nice. Oh, I'm going to show you another uh, box turtle activity. This one here is digging head first into the soil and uh, I'm not sure if that's a preliminary to uh, laying eggs. Usually it is not, but uh, it's uh, digging into the soil right there. And uh, there's one of the openings that goes into that uh, cement area. And that is a small a male turtle that's coming out into uh, the uh, enclosure here from the cement area. Over on this side here I have a small area that is uh, secluded and it is primarily for and only for the uh, five uh, small box turtles that I raised from eggs last year. I wintered them over in the house and then I put them inside of this small area here 
and I feed them separately and keep them safe from the uh, larger box turtles uh, aggression if there is any look how that turtle has plowed into the soil that is amazing well this concludes this video I hope you've enjoyed it give me a thumbs up if you like it and any questions or comments let me know